this lecture is actually going to talk about on the pump curve data that we can uh, have and not only that, how do we uh, make a diagram of that. So we've learned so far how to r relate the y-axis and the x-axis which is total head of the system or actually of the pump, head of the pump and the volumetric flow rate of the pump. So we did this for one, only one curve. We're going to see that we can do many of them for each size of impeller. And why is this? Because the smaller the impeller, the less amount of fluid you're going to operate. And therefore you're going to have less head, less power, and all that. We're going to study also efficiencies. How to find the best efficiency of a pump. We're going to find out that there is also the possibility to directly find out the power requirements and the NPSH requirement. And not only that, we have also data that is hidden, for example, at what velocity does this rotate, this 3550, the brands, capacity, I don't know, many other materials of the pump that are included in the pump curve diagrams. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.